So I will talk about the Central Asia as a transport hub for Eurasia. The main idea is I will uh, talk about the, what's what's happening in Central Asia. You probably know this. This is one of the most interesting theme now. Very how I'm usually called it, very fashionable. Uh, so ah, okay. Uh, so I will have a research question. This is my plan. Uh, in first part, I will talk about the Central Asia internal factors. What Central Asia need to do to came up the uh, transport hub in the region. Third, I will talk about the external factors, okay, what the influence to the region to, uh, to become the Eurasia uh, transport, transport hub. And the last one, it's about the perspective and some conclusions. So uh, my research question is, how feasible is the implementation of projects that have been announced and what are the risks associated with the opening up of Central Asia? Uh, so before I will try to say that we have to, two things to understand. That we have an uh, internal factor, which is mean the homework. I usually use this term. And it means Central Asia must to do the, uh, a lot of uh, things to build infrastructure, to invest in the infrastructure, to be if, uh, the, the, po the powers in this region must be very efficient in creating of uh, infrastructure, railroad uh, transport, transport infrastructure to become the uh, Eurasia hub to transit the goods from Asia to Europe and vis-a-vis fr -vis from Europe to Asia. And the second factor, of course, it's uh, more, I will talk about the external factor where we talk about the relation between the big players of this region and why it's matter. Here we usually use the example of Afghanistan. The country, it was in the 19th century, was closed by the uh, the, the country which is, was closed in 19th century between the Russian Empire and Great Britain Empire. And if you remember, it's called the Great Game. It means that uh, this country was a buffer. And about 100 years, they do not have any access, uh, any connection with other, uh, re with the Central Asian region. They was, they, the country was developed in, like, by self. And we see they do not have any connection with the world, still do not have connection. So this is the, the one of the reasons why the country was close and the uh, under development of this country, because in 19th century they, was, they were close. So when we talk about the transportation and connection, of course the relations between the main, main uh, players in the region is important. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, infrastructure deficit and institutional bottlenecks. Uh, so here, the first is the low quality of roadways and bridges. It means the country must to uh, renovate the road. They uh, first, for for example, uh, for now in in roads which is used for international corridors, the gravel bitum layer and have only one thirty percent of these roads. Bitum, bitum. Bitum, gravel mm -hmm. bitum, the good quality road, mm -hmm. only thirty percent. What 30. does it mean? It means the low speed, low speed. That mean uh, you hire the uh, how would say I forget the word in Russian to uh, is is not where end where out mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. of the transport of mm -hmm. course because the law if uh, law quality of the road it is the same across the region or it's are there any specific countries that lack uh, quality much it's particular for the Tajikistan. Mm. But it's the, in Kyrgyzstan, the situation is not better. Mm. In Kazakhstan, it's better because they started, the, if you, uh, a lot of people think about the program of called Nur Lijol, mm. they started to renovate the road. Mm -hmm. So now its quality is better. And of course, because in Kazakhstan, we have more pay, more uh, invest to the roads. That is why we have situation better than other regions. And mm. in Uzbekistan, the situation is a little bit better, but mm. still, uh, N not not so good. Uh, mm -hmm. The second, uh, one sec. uh, okay, here the second status of the country in the in the region as a net importer of road transport service. The domestic fleets cannot meet the growing demand for transport service. I mean, this means we have a lack of the transport hook uh, uh, companies, com transport companies, logistics companies. The, that, uh, the the lack of all of this infrastructure stuff. Uh, one of the barrier to growing the transit. Mm -hmm. uh, third one is a further deterioration of road and equipment, which leads to accident and shortage, uh, shortage of vehicles. Uh, these factors contribute to the low speed of road transport and shorten the life of vehicles. 
it, this uh, not we have bad quality roads and we have uh, do not have enough money to buy new equipment new vehicles mm -hmm. they they very old coming older so they uh, broken mm -hmm. uh, they they do broken чаще mm -hmm. usually you more, more they broken more often that mean uh, not not enough uh, not enough transport to, to the goods uh, so the, 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 the three factors here about the roads. Mm -hmm. The factor that has a more strategic component. In the first, here I will talk most about the roads uh, for the most, most of the highways. Mm -hmm. So this is was about more vehicles, not about the railroads. railroads. The second is more important, of course, the railroads is more important in case of the transit goods from the Asia to the Europe. Yeah, you should uh, write in the title as well, so it should ah. be more clearer. Okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah Here roads, I was. I use the factors. Roads, strategic and rails. Yes. 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 I agree. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. <coughs> First one is a difference with weight of the gauge across the region. Okay. Uh, so. Here the map you see. Uh, this is the called the. This is this road, purple one. It's our region. This is the 15, 30 millimeter gauge. This is China. They use uh, 14, 35 millimeters. So we need the stations here to change the gauge. So can you tell me can tell us the reasons why uh, Soviet Union or Russian yeah, Russian Empire adopted? This kind of different gauge. What's yeah, the reason uh, behind it? The reason is it was in 19th century. Mm -hmm. The reason in that time, this called usually this is called the Ru uh, Russia Russia gauge. Uh -huh. In the Russian Empire, when they started to build the railroads, uh, it was the one of the uh, one of the famous guy of this was the Sergei Yulevich Vite. He was the Minister of Transport at mm -hmm. the time of the Nikolai II, Tsar of Nikolai II. They started to build roads, and one of the most reason here was the security defense yeah defense because uh, they believe that uh, y if europe because can will have without any problem without any barriers come they will be more have more speed to mm -hmm. come to this region and second was not only the defense but offense too mm -hmm. because at that time they started to control the uh, they was starting to try to control the caucus Mm -hmm. So they started build their the railroads. The, so this is was two factor factor. First factor was the barriers uh, mm -hmm. uh, in Europe, and second they starting to, how, to try to more control the the country. So you see these old roads, uh, but and they started from this region building roads in the to try to con more control the Caucasus. And the lack of the transportation, lack of the railroads was one of the reasons why they lose the Russia-Japan war in 19, 1905 because they don't have such kind of railroads, which is, you see, this is railroad, you see, here. And in the period of 1905, they don't have, and that is why they cannot bring troops quickly mm -hmm. bec uh, because they have lack of troops here in this region. They have a free battle yeah. and lose free battle here in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, on that period of time the security matter. Mm -hmm. Is there any difference between the capacities? No, no any difference gorges? between capacities. No. Only, only the time to change mm -hmm. uh, to change gauge. You need to transport uh, your containers. Uh, yeah. So Russian gauge is a little bit wider than the European. Yes, they wider. But there is no capacity increase. No, no, no. no, no, no it's it's not about capacity. Mm -hmm. It's only about the time here yeah, yeah you need to change so you see that your iran have the same as with europe mm -hmm. uh and and one of the explanation you see the turkey because they are started uh build royal roads under the germans advisors mm -hmm. if you remember that old idea to build the um how would say baghdad mm -hmm. baghdad building railroad so that mm -hmm. that time uh so i don't I, I really don't know why they have the here the different mm -hmm. gauge. It was mo the most. Uh, uh, it's French. Here mm -hmm. it's the most uh, narrow. Narrow, only a hundred millimeter. Oh, uh, a thousand millimeter. Most part is uh, French. Yeah, probably. Yeah. At the same time, here is in this particular region the most widest. Uh -huh. Sixteen seventy-five. Uh -huh. With the Pakistan, it's yeah. matter in case of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. If I, okay, it's not 
in, in, in this case. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the second is uh, ge geography, because we need to understand that the Central Asia, the landlocked countries, and Uzbekistan particularly, the unique country, the landlocked twice country. Only three countries in the world have such kind of problem. Mm -hmm. uh, land, twice landlocked means you need two countries, you need territory of two countries to come to the uh, sea. Uh, so uh, Uzbekistan, in that case, the unique, unique country. The double landlock country, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so, so geography is very, very matter. And second, of course, thing here uh, when we talk about ge geography, it's uh, one second. Um, of course, it's uh, difficult to building the roads mm -hmm. because the territory of Tajikistan mm -hmm. and territory of Kyrgyzstan are very mountain. mountain. So building the railroads in these particular countries uh, come more. Uh, the price come higher than the air, and uh, and in case of uh, Kazakhstan, geography is matter because this is a very big country and huge uh, territory buying to the steppe. And it means you don't have, uh, you, how to say, you need to maximize. Um, uh, no, 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 not sources. Uh, you need to maximize uh, profit. And usually in Europe, they have a not long distance between some stations. Mm. Where they, they you can take one mm -hmm. cargos, take new cargos. Mm. In, in particular, in case of Russia and in case of Kazakhstan, you don't have such kind of station. Big so it is a big distance between stations. Mm -hmm. Very hard to maximize the mm. profit of this particular transit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the, the third is high cost of wagon rental. In the, in the same problem with uh, uh, vehicles, uh, not enough, uh, not not sufficient, okay, not enough. Uh, Wagons because they too even old. Today, even today. Even today, too old. Uh, Kazakhstan, for example, don't produce any cargo wagons. We building only uh, passenger wagons. <coughs> building. I don't no, don't understand the situation now because we have uh, Kazakhstan Spanish company which is called Talgo. They build the wagons, mm -hmm. but they will close or something like that. The so this is bit. The Strange. administration of the railway company, uh, what was the name? Kaz Kazakhstan, uh, Kazakhstan Timur the ah. nation, national company. It's a national company. It's a national ah, company. Okay, then, then it's a national sense. company. Yeah. But the Chinese cannot uh, come and uh, provide wagons. No, 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 no. We, we, can, we can take in, in rent. Ah, okay. So uh, is there any plans for privatization of that company? No. Or no? no, 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 not any So company. unlike Air Astana? Uh, Air Astana, it's not. Uh, Privatized company exactly fifty one percent. It's like not fifty one private. Kazakhstan. No, so if, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, but there um, are, there are ideas for privatization. Of it's a very interesting Kazakhstan. question because in the world uh, we have only a couple of cases privatization of railroad companies. Hmm. Most of the interest it's the U.S. and the Great Britain, hmm. but the problem is in for example in U.S. it was that uh, because they privatized some. Mm -hmm. Road, they uh, in in one in once they understand that some uh, some marshrut was uh, roads Root sections or section no. routes Root. some, some routes mm -hmm. do, do, do not popular that that mm -hmm. company don't don't uh, don't use them mm -hmm. and that's why uh, no no any one company don't use them so, so, this was a problem so some section of this. Mm -hmm. Because they're not popular, they can take a profit, they don't use them. And people who live in this particular territory do not have the trains. So this, uh, this is the case of privatization. In mm -hmm. the world, it's very hard to find the particular privatization in railroad. So I think Kazakhstan is not mm -hmm. thinking about mm -hmm. it, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we think uh, in the Eurasia, Eurasia Union, we think about the create the, uh, um, it's called the, uh, Logistic company, mm, a new company. The, the Russia, Kazakhstan, and Belarus company. Logistic, mm. uh, one logistic company. But it was in plans, and they started to work. And maybe they will uh, use uh, decide this problem of mm. uh, shortage, uh, the, the lack of wagons. Mm -hmm. uh, so force, uh, force. It's storage. The storage of modern carriages, locomotives, infrastructure, and technologies that meet international quality standards. Here is the problem of locomotives. They're too old. So this the particular the same. But here is very interesting that we do not have the technologies. I mean, the 
our logistics companies is not sufficient. Mm -hmm. They do not use uh, international standards, so that decreases the efficiency. Mm -hmm. What is the percentage of electrified railroads? In, in Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan mm -hmm. uh, most transit roads now, the transit roads uh -huh. are Rail, rail electri roads. electrified, yes, ah, okay. not, not all. I do not um, say the particular numbers, but I can exactly say that the, mo the main transit mm -hmm. railroads is electrified. Mm -hmm. <coughs> One way but or two way? I mean, two, two, we two use tracks? We now, use now two. Two tracks. Yes, I, I can show you here. Uh, no. the, oh, so, see, uh -huh. we can... It, it's, it's, it's the same. It, it's the same, just just different. Uh -huh. So uh, from Russia, this this the second, and now here is new one from from here is Jiskazgan, uh -huh. and from Jiskazgan to city is called Beinev, uh -huh. and from Beinev we can go to the to the city to the seaport Kurik, uh -huh. or you can go through Turkmenistan and Iran. So because all electrified. Here, huh? here we have yes the the new one. From the Jiskazgan, it's from Dostik, Jiskazgan, Beinev, from Beinev. Yeah, the old one, that one? It's new one, here is. They no, no, the old one is also electrified, right? Uh, this is, yes, they finished uh -huh. finish the electrification. Here we have some not electrified. Uh -huh. And from the Karaganda, Almaty, they, ah, no, now it's electrified uh -huh. too. Uh -huh. Okay. It's not important because between Karaganda, Almaty, because they're not transit, so. Yeah. But we have, it was some... Yes. Ah, from Karaganda to Jiskazgan is not electrified, but mm -hmm. it's not matter in case not of uh, transit. Okay. Uh, fifth, the institutional political changes that a region needs to overcome. Here is problem two problem. Uh, first one, it's uh, we need to understand the corruption. Mm -hmm. the, the this is one of the big problem of whole whole region. So uh, the the corruption mean the they stop the cargos. The custom problems, for example, uh, the Central Asia country, for example, World Bank have the survey about the uh, trade between the neighbor countries. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, three of these countries in the end of this ranking. Mm -hmm. We have a problem in, tr in, uh, in, and one of the most problems which uh, mentioned in this particular survey, World Bank saying the problem in the border mm -hmm. between, in the, in the custom procedures. Mm -hmm. So one, and this custom procedures, uh, problem in custom procedures happened because of the uh, corruption. Mm -hmm. So the corruption is, and of course, uh, we have transparency, agency mm -hmm. ranking and uh, corruption ranking. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, all of us, are, uh, all our, our countries in the end of this particular mm -hmm. ranking. So we, we see the problem of corruption here. Mm -hmm. And second is the political relations between the country. Mm -hmm. uh, it's now, it's, uh, the relation is is better and better, but still we have uh, remember the case when Uzbekistan and Tajikistan railroad war, mm -hmm. particular when they uh, Tajikistan tried to build the uh, how как называется плотина не подскажете Рагун Рагун they building Рагун them them Рагун them and uh, Uzbekistan uh, stopped the uh, stop trains mm -hmm. uh, which is going. To, which bringing the, some stuff for, the, for the, building this yeah. Rogun. Because, and Tajikistan, the problem of Tajikistan, they, in Soviet period of time, they have only one way mm -hmm. to, the, to connect with other countries through the territory of Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. So Uzbekistan used this, and this, of course, the problem. The, the second example was in between Kazakhstan and uh, Kyrgyzstan. Mm -hmm. We have the, some political misunderstanding mm -hmm. in the period of uh, uh, President election in Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan closed the border, mm -hmm. which is of course not good for the uh, for the tr trade. trade. So this is a problem of our particular country. So if we not increase efficiency of the our, our board, our uh, regional uh, <coughs> trade, mm -hmm. we cannot be transit region. Mm -hmm. So this is of course. So all mm -hmm. of this problem we need to uh, decide because mm -hmm. without that we can become the uh, transit region. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> it's about what I'm called about uh, homework. Mm -hmm. Here, geopolitical challenges. Uh, the main, of course, uh, relation between China and Russia. Uh, now we have consensus between these two countries. Uh, it's like, it, usually it's called consensus that Russia is security, China is the economic development, but this, is, uh, this consensus could change uh, I mean, immediately, 
because this is uh, this consensus do not uh, as agreement or something like that. So it means that uh, for because now Russia, how would say, not see in this in our region the competitor to the transit trade because we have different problems because Kazakhstan now most use the Russia territory for transit. So everything. Uh, if the situation is now is stable for the Russia, they don't see the, any co competition with the region. But if tomorrow they started, uh, they started building some roads here, for example, if tomorrow Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan and China decide the problem of the railroad which, from, uh, from China to Uzbekistan, which, uh, this road can be become the uh, alternative road, second alternative road. I, I sh show you here that from those thick to Kurik and from Kurik to the uh, Baku, Baku um, Tbilisi Cars Railroad, from the cars here to the territory of Turkey under the uh, how it's called Marmaray to tunnel. Oh, under the Marmaray tunnel, you can go to the South Europe and do not use the Russia territory. So we see you mean, the uh, somewhere in the south, but South Europe. Not, yeah. yeah, South Europe here. From you can uh, right now use from China. From territory of Kazakhstan to the Kurik, from Kurik to the Baku, from Baku to the South uh, Europe. So this is alternative from of Russian territory. But the problem of a lot of countries, custom procedures, which I called before of that, are all of these things happening in here. But but still, uh, so this the the and we need to understand that Russia is a very important player in Central Asia region. They have a lot of uh, leverage to use political, economical, something like that. So the uh, relations in this particular duet or this uh, this uh, between two to the, these countries is very important in case of uh, our potential of our transit territory, uh, potential of Eurasia come, becoming the tr transit camp. And the second is opening Central Asia from south. It's old uh, geopolitical. Um, how to say, uh, fear that if tomorrow we will open the territory of Afghanistan, the different ideologies from the south, different problems from this region will come to the hour. Of course, we all, uh, two things we are afraid, ideology and, t and terrorists. We believe that if tomorrow the, ter uh, the Central Asia op will open to the, to the South Asia, we'll have a lot of all of these problems and of course we afraid in case of ideology of we are afraid Pakistan which is a very important region and have a lot of different schools Islam schools and we really believe that the, that can influence to the, our region so the opening the territory from the south is afraid our region but without that we can cannot become uh, exactly Eurasia hub so we have only one now we are very depend from the China Ch and China's economy they uh, subsidize a lot of trains which is coming from our territory. So we particularly uh, depend from China's economy and depend from the goods from China. But if we truly want to become the Eurasia hub, we must to open this particular region. We right now we have a road with Iran, <coughs> but in in the future we we need to open this region, Afghanistan territory here from from Pakistan to India or from Pakistan to the, this part of China. So diversify. Uh, trade roads and so not so uh, reduce our dependency from the China's economy and uh, so it's not about geopolitical uh, so, so here about when I talk about the geopolitical challenges I want to show you map the alternative road without Russia territory mm -hmm. that's Trasica project European project uh, which was beginning in 1998 something like that if you remember, they have two ideas. One was about the uh, open up the uh, oil and gas market of Central Asia, and here it's, I think, we can say successful. But mm -hmm. they finally have the uh, pipelines into the Caspi. Mm -hmm. And the second was to open up this region f uh, without Russia territory again, with the r f to connect railroads and connect uh, roads. So here, this territory you see, we can connect, and also bypassing uh, Iran as well. Not yeah. Iran, not Russia. not Iran, not mm -hmm. Russia. See the territory. So, uh, and we remember the problem. Uh, for exa another example, uh, why sometimes Russian territory is a challenge to the Central Asia. 
you remember there's some problems between Russia and Turkey mm -hmm. in case of yeah. air fleet. And if you remember, Russia territory closed the, uh, the territory for the Turkish goods, which stopped here in Azerbaijan border and cannot come to the Central Asia. Mm -hmm. And finally, they use some sea, uh, sea communications here with the Baku and Aktau. And uh, now uh, we have Russia-Ukraine problems and Ukraine cannot bring the, uh, some goods to the Central Asia. Then they try to use the territory uh, of Turkey and Caucasus countries to bring the goods to the region. And yeah. we, one of oh, oh, the pro, it's not in case of the goods, but Ukraine air company mm -hmm. will close a direct flight from Kazakhstan to Kyiv mm -hmm. because they, they no, cannot use Russia territory and the price of this, uh, the, the, the price of this uh, direction is coming higher. <coughs> So this is a pers perspective if we be successful. So in, in two cases, if we do our homework good, and second, if geopolitical environment will be good for our the region, we can build the different, uh, we can build different trade roads. We have now from the Russia territory, you see it's here, blue one. And if we can open the um, south, we have uh, some idea to use the north of Afghanistan to connect with the uh, Pakistan and connect with Iran here. We, you probably uh, we have a ro railroad from the Mazari Sharif to the to the Uzbekistan. So we can use uh, this railroad and bring bring the railroad to the Tajikistan territory or to the Iran territory. Sources. Thank you. Huh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh,